Hi everyone, this is Frank from YOLO Live. Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into a crucial update for all the live streamers out there using YOLO Box. Stick around as we guide you through the changes and provide a handy workaround. Let's get started. In the ever evolving sphere of Facebook and live streaming, a significant change has occurred. At the beginning of the year, Meta introduced the Facebook Graph API v19.0. Alongside the introduction of new features, the previous Facebook Groups API has been phased out. What implications does this have for us, the streamers? As of April 22nd, the ability to directly stream to our Facebook Groups via platforms such as Yolobox, Ecamm, or StreamYard has been discontinued. However, it's not all bad news. It's still possible to stream to your personal profile or your pages directly via Yolobox. We have a viable solution at hand. By switching to RTMP streams with YOLO Box, you can continue to engage with your Facebook group audiences. Now let's delve into the details of RTMP to ensure your live streaming remains as dynamic as ever. So here I'm in Facebook. This is my test group. I've just set this up to demonstrate how we can stream from YOLO Box to the group using the different method. All right, now we locate the events tab. Once found, there will be a button labeled Create Event. Click on it. We're now preparing the foundation for our live event. This is where you can devise an engaging name for your event. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to enter Test here. You also have the ability to schedule the date and time for the grand occasion. However, bear in mind, we're conducting this event virtually. Therefore, ensure to select the virtual option over the in-person because we're about to provide your audience with a unique experience, all from the comfort of their homes. You'll notice the Facebook Live option. This is our gateway to live streaming. Well, we filled out all the necessary information. Click on Create Event. Once completed, it will automatically redirect to the group page, where a button labeled Set Up the Live Event awaits you. Click on it and welcome to the RTMP setup process. Now we're delving into the crucial details. First, you need to select your video source. This is akin to choosing your preferred instrument for a live performance. It's vital. When you select webcam, the live feed will display the footage captured by your computer's built-in camera. However, if you choose streaming software, the screen will show a black screen because it connects to the feed from your live streaming software or external streaming device. As you can see, we need to select streaming software for our current needs. Next, and this is a helpful tip, ensure you activate the persistent stream key. This is transformative because it means you won't have to repeat the setup process each time you stream. It's like having a permanent backstage pass to every event with no waiting required. Lastly, secure the important details, the stream key and server URL that Facebook provides. Simply copy them and you're ready to go. It's as straightforward as noting down your favorite recipe. There you have it. By directly engaging with the RTMP setup on Yolobox, you can guarantee your streams are both seamless and professional. Notably, Yolobox provides three distinct methods to configure RTMP settings, forwarding RTMP details to your Yolo Live account, manual entry on Yolobox Ultra, and direct addition via Yolocast. However, today our focus is on the direct integration through Yolocast. This is because it's the most convenient option and is less likely to encounter any issues. Accessing YOLOcast and logging into your YOLO Live account, adding accounts and some other operations on YOLOcast are free, so there's no need to worry about needing a subscription. Navigate to the destination section, similar to charting your course for a streaming journey. Locate the Add Platforms option and select the RTMP pathway, an intuitive decision for the proactive streamer ready to share their unique content. And please note, avoid selecting Facebook. With the server URL and stream key for your group event readily available, you have the necessary components to unlock endless streaming possibilities. Simply copy and paste these details. Once you've successfully completed the RTMP setup on your YOLOcast, it's time to actualize your event. Visualize this. Your group RTMP now resides in the platform section ready for its inaugural use. Select the group RTMP where you want to go live, 
and click the go live button. It's as if a sudden spotlight has been cast upon you, isn't it? However, bear in mind, even if you've initiated the live feature on YOLO box, it doesn't immediately signify your stream is live. There's one final step. Either select Go Live Now on Facebook or schedule it to go live automatically at the appointed time. Only then will you be genuinely live and prepared to interact with your audience. When you want to end the live stream, all you need to do is click on the End Live Stream button located at the bottom left corner of the Facebook Live Control main page. But our narrative doesn't conclude here. Stay tuned for more chapters as we explore alternative methods and solutions, inventing new strategies to traverse the dynamic realm of live streaming, regardless of any challenges we may encounter. Our aim is to augment your experience, ensure the fluidity of your live streams, and guarantee your voice is heard far and wide. If you're interested in our products and enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos. Also, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group, where lots of our customers share their user cases. This is Frank, and I will see you in the next video.